Welcome back to Cook on the Jack. Welcome back to an episode of Cooking with Jack. So a few weeks ago I gave you the recipe for the Dutch frikadel. This week I'm going to give you another very popular snack in Holland, which is the beef crockets. You're going to need only a handful of ingredients, it's not that much. The process takes a bit of time, but also is not that complicated. So this is a fun recipe to do. I'm going to call out the ingredients, get a pen and a piece of paper, write it down, and then we're going to get started. You're going to need oil for frying, 400 grams of stew beef, one egg, butter, flour, breadcrumbs, beef stock, nutmeg, and fresh parsley. We're going to start with the meat. Let's go. So the first thing we want to do with our meat is we want to cook it through and through. So we're going to start with 400 ml of water and our beef stock. We're going to let that dissolve. We're going to add the meat, bring it to a boil and then reduce the heat of the stove and let it cook for about one hour until the meat is completely soft. the meat and the water comes to the boil, reduce your stove to medium to low and let it sit covered for about one hour. After the hour you're gonna measure off 200 ml of that water that the meat was just cooking in. We're gonna need that for later on. Everything else you can discard. The next step is cutting up the meat and the parsley into very tiny pieces. Let's go. So after chopping our parsley and our meat into tiny, tiny pieces, it is now time for the most complicated process of this recipe. We're going to be creating a roux. Obviously a roux is created by equal amounts of flour and butter. For this recipe, we're going to use two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour. We're going to start by melting the butter. Once the butter is melted, we're going to gradually add the flour while stirring. After that is properly mixed, we're going to start adding maybe about half of the beef water that we have just put aside. We're going to give that a good stir. Once it looks like a smooth looking, nice looking sauce, we're going to start adding the rest of the water. And then we're going to add our beef and our parsley. Stir it very well. Let it cook for about two minutes. And after the two minutes, we're going to take it out of the pan. We're going to put it in a dish and put it in our fridge to let it cool down for a minimum of two hours but I would recommend four hours. And then after four hours, we're gonna come back and it's almost time to start eating these bad boys. I'll see you in four hours. of waiting your roux should look something like this the reason I said earlier that it's better to leave it longer than two hours is because the longer you leave it to cool down in the fridge the easier it is to do this next step of the cooking what we're gonna do now is we're gonna roll these into sausages the amount we made should be enough for eight crockets so you're gonna roll them into eight equal parts roll them into sausages and then the next step is very simple and very, very similar to any deep frying process. We're gonna put it in flour, we're gonna put it in egg, we're gonna put it in breadcrumbs, and then we're gonna put it in hot oil to deep fry for about five 
to seven minutes. Once you have done all that, your crockets are ready to serve. Let's go. Folks, traditional Dutch beef crockets. Serve this on a bit of white bread with some mayonnaise or mustard, or as a side with your fries. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Cook with Jack. Thanks for watching another episode of Cook with Jack.